So far, we've had an introduction to robotics, and we've gotten our kit set up. Next, we need to get our computer set up. In this class, we will be using three software packages. PSOC Creator, which we will use to program the PSOC microcontroller. Python, a programming language we can use to program the computer itself. And OpenCV, a software library for doing machine vision. Today, we will install and test just the first two software packages, PSOC Creator and Python. We will install the third package, OpenCV, later in the course when we are ready to start using cameras. So let's start with PSOC Creator. A microcontroller, like your PSOC 5 LP, is designed to be able to run programs while embedded in a robot. In other words, it can run programs while it is not connected to a computer. But we have to connect the microcontroller to a computer in order to upload programs that we have written to the microcontroller. We use a kind of computer program known as an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, to write programs and upload them to the microcontroller. PSOC's IDE is called PSOC Creator, and you get it from the website of Cypress, the company that makes the PSOC microcontroller. So, start by opening a web browser and going to cypress.com. Once you are there, type Creator into the search box and click Search. In the results, click on one of the first results that says it's for PSA Creator Integrated Design Environment. Next, click to download PSA Creator for Windows. You can go ahead and get the latest version if you'd like, but I'm going to be installing PSOC Creator version 4.0 because that's the latest version at the time that I'm making this video. Wait until the setup executable has downloaded to your computer. Once it's finished downloading, run the downloaded executable. Wait while the download extracts. Decide where you're going to install PSOC Creator, then click Next. Now wait for the install to finish. You can choose the typical installation type and then click Next. Decide whether you accept the terms of the license agreement and then click Next. You'll have to do this a couple of times for the different pieces of the software being installed. Wait for this installation to finish. When the install finishes, click Finish. If you're asked to install the PDL, go ahead and do it. The Cypress Update Manager will also open, and for now, you can go ahead and exit the Update Manager. PDL stands for Peripheral Drivers Library, and that might come in handy for us in the future, so we'll just wait until the PDL finishes being installed. When the installation completes, close the window. You'll also be prompted to register, but you don't have to do that. You can just X this out and the program will work just fine anyways. For now, close PSOC Creator if it opened up automatically. We'll be learning how to use it in the next video. 
For now, let's move on and install the next program that you need. We're going to go install Python 2.7. Point your browser to python.org forward slash downloads as shown here. Here, you have the option to download a Python 3 version or a Python 2.7 version. Choose the Python 2.7 version. Wait until the file downloads and then run it. Click Next. Then click Next again. In this screen where you get the option to customize Python, scroll down to the bottom of the list and choose to install this item that says add python.exe to path. Then click next. And wait until the installer finishes. Once the install finishes, click finish. Now, let's try to run Python. Scroll down to find Python in your Start menu. And then find the entry called Idle, Python GUI. In this shell window, we can write one line of Python code at a time and execute it. Try typing in 5 plus 3 and then hit enter. You should get 8 as your output. Now let's try something else. In robotics we often need to do trigonometry, sines and cosines and tangents. Let's try calculating the sine of 90. When you do that, you get an error saying that sine is not defined. Python does not, by default, install a library that you need in order to do certain mathematical calculations such as sines and cosines. That library is contained in a package called NumPy, so we need to go and install that right away also. To get NumPy, start by going to the Python Software Foundation. The website is shown right here. Now, scroll down until you see this list of files listed here. Find the one that is for CP27 and for Win32 and click on it. Wait for the file to download. After it downloads, you want to show in folder to see where that file has downloaded. You need to extract this WHL file. You can do that with a program called 7-Zip, which you might already have installed on your computer. If you don't already have it installed, go find 7-Zip and install it. You can get 7-Zip from 7zip.org forward slash download as shown here. Choose either the 32-bit or 64-bit version and download it. After it downloads, install it. Wait for 7-zip to finish installing, then close the installation window. Now open up the 7-zip file manager from your start menu. Find your NumPy WHL file from the browser here under Name. Once you find the file, click the Extract button. Click OK and wait until the file has extracted. Back in your Downloads folder, you should now have a new folder Name the same thing as that WHL file. Open this folder. Inside this folder, there's a folder called NumPy. Copy this folder. 
Now we need to go find where Python was originally installed. For me, it's installed directly in my C drive. I have a folder here called Python 2.7. Inside the Python folder is another folder called lib, stands for libraries. Go into the libraries or the lib folder. Next, we're looking for a folder called site packages. Inside the site packages, paste the NumPy folder that you copied previously. Now, we're going to test our installation. Open up Python the way we did before by going to the Start menu, scrolling down to Python, and then clicking on Idle. Start by doing 5 plus 3 and hit enter to make sure that that still works. Now let's type in the line import numpy as np and hit enter. You shouldn't get any errors when you do this if numpy has been installed correctly. Now type in np dot sign sin and then in parentheses do 90 and hit enter this time we don't get an error we get an answer indicating that our installation was successful in the next two videos we'll be writing some test programs in both psoc creator and python to help introduce you to these two programming languages